Hello everybody, it's Junior here again with another movie review. I'm going to review the another 1997 movie film that's directed by Quentin Tarantino this time and it's called Jackie Brown. Jackie Brown is one of my favorite movies of all time actually. It's the first Tarantino movie I actually saw in the movie theater. So, it actually has a big nostalgic value you know, in my life. Um, I remember I went with my friend Dave, me and David, we went to go see this movie together. We were you know, best friends during high school. And it was just an amazing movie. It just you know blew me out of the water. I was sort of into Tarantino at the time. I mean, I did own Pulp Fiction on VHS at the time. And um, I originally I wanted to see like I guess the first day it came out was around Christmas time, but that showing was sold was sold out, so we didn't go see that. So I guess I must have waited maybe a couple months, and I, I didn't see it until February '98 when it was still playing right before Oscars. And I wanted to go see Jackie Brown, and I was blown away by it. You know, it was uh, uh, in a an amazing film experience because you know, I've never seen a Tarantino film you know, on the big screen. Now I've seen every Tarantino movie on the big screen, except for Pulp Fiction, except for uh, Reservoir Dogs. I have I've never seen them re-release Pulp Fiction, really. I've never seen them re-release um, Reservoir Dogs either, but I've seen Jackie Brown, I saw all the Kill Bills, Glorious Bastards, and Django, all the theaters, you know. But Jackie Brown holds a special place in my heart because, like I said, it's the first one. Um, let me show you the Blu-ray and talk about more about the movie. So this is Jackie Brown here. It's a um, it's a very good movie. It's basically um, Tarantino's homage to black exploitation film that he loved so much in the seventies. It stars um, Pam Grier as the the title um, as a, you know as Jackie Brown, and she's uh, you know very famous in the black exploitation um, community. I guess she came out a lot of the movies like Foxy Brown and uh, uh, I think Coffee is another one too, which she was really famous from. Um, it's based on an Elmore Leonard novel called Rump Punch, which I read as well. And it's basically about an arms dealer named Ordell Roby, who's played by Samuel L. Jackson. He um, is running guns. Him and his, him, um, him and his partner, they get reunited. Louis Garda, played by Robert De Niro. Um, they get reunited after, I think, De Niro's been away for about four and a half years in prison. So, um, he's talking about how he wants to, you know, uh, to try, you know, he brings in money from Mexico. Jackie Brown plays a stewardess who works for a uh, Mexican airline. That helps um, Odell Roby smuggle in his um, his cash. Um, she gets busted by the um, well, actually, uh, before that, before she gets busted, another guy named Beaumont, played by um, what's his name, Chris Tucker, gets busted, gets arrested, and you know he starts to spill the beans a little bit. So that means that this this gets Jackie Brown busted, and from here, you know she's uh, forced in a position where you know she either has to. You know, uh, protect Ordell, or try, or she tries to protect herself from you know being arrested or going on probation and stuff. Um, during this time too, they, they they hire a man named Max Shane, played played by Robert Forster, who you know who, who, who bails out Beaumont and then bails out um, Jackie Brown. It's a pretty it's a pretty good movie. It's 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 a kind of a it's, it's a thriller. It's a crime movie. It's basically um, they're trying they're trying to smuggle in five hundred thousand um, dollars under the ATF's knows, you know, Jackie Brown is this character who is you know, trying to play one side against the other, and it's really, really a kind of a deep, deep movie, it stars, like I said, Pam Greer as Jackie Brown, Samuel L. Jackson as Ordell Roby, um, Ordell's girlfriend, or one of his girlfriends is played by Bridget Fonda, her name is Melanie, um, Ordell's partner is Robert De Niro, Louis Gara, the ATF agent who's after um, Ordell is played by uh, Michael Keaton, and Max, Max Cherry is played by, um, what's his name, uh, the, the, um, Robert Forster. Sorry, the name slipped me. Let me show you the Blu-ray first before I talk more about the movie. It's a very basic Blu-ray. It's basically it's basically the same DVD. Remember, the, the, this DVD came out I think in around 2002, a double disc edition of uh, of this movie, and it's the same thing. You know, it's, it's a pity that they didn't put more effort into this Blu-ray. You know, there's there's there's, there's no extras in really. It's the same extras from the from the original DVD. There's no um, digi book. There's no steel book, really. At least I'm not aware of of Jackie Brown. Um, yeah. The um, before before turn around, you might be hearing people talking in the background. That's part of the soundtrack. Um, Jackie Brown doesn't really have a score. It's more like movies, uh, not movies, uh, it's music from the '70s and '80s. And so, yeah, here's one of the best ones coming up. Anyways, let me tell you more about Jackie Brown. Jackie Brown's a very good. It's a very good heist movie. Not really a heist movie. It's more of a, um, 
I guess it's kind of a heist movie, but they're, they're not really trying to steal from any organization or any kind of like banks. Or it's mostly them trying to smuggle and trying to get, trying to, you know, um, smuggle money from both Ordell and under the ATF's nose. It's, um, it's good, you know, it's got, you know, it's got the great Tarantino dialogue, although a lot of the dialogue is lifted from the novel. I read the novel. The big difference, though, between the novel and the movie, right, is that the movie takes place in Los Angeles, while the novel takes place in uh, Florida. Elmore Leonard, I guess, is really big into Miami, Florida, while Tarantino is really big into L.A. That's where he lives and stuff. He's very good at that. Um, it has really, really great cinematography. I thought it's 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 shot like an old classic black exploitation film. That's what's cool about it, you know. He took all those B movie elements, you know, and he made it to a really cohesive A, you know, A list film. Um, Tarantino is really good at that. People talk about Kill Bill being like. Um, you know, like you know, like you know, being from the '70s, but this is just the '70s. I mean, Tarantino loves the '70s. I mean, if you watch *Pulp Fiction*, if you watch uh, *Jackie Brown*, *Kill Bill*, that's all they talk about is all these '70s, these '70s like uh, um, you know, these kind of hip things that are pretty, are pretty cool. I dig it. You know, it has a killer soundtrack as you can hear right now. You know, it has Bobby Womack, it has um, Brothers Johnson, it has Bloodstone, it has the Phonics. I highly recommend the soundtrack. Um, my only complaint about this movie, though, right, is nothing to do with the movie, but it has to do with the packaging and stuff. I wish they would have made a special edition, you know. This is a great movie. You know, it may not be as flashy as, like, Glorious Bastard or, or as violent as, like, Kill Bill or Django Unchained, but I think it's, it's, it's a really good movie. I mean, it's a, it's a slow movie, but that's how those black exploitation movies are. They're not, they're not very fast-paced, you know. Um, Tarantino really takes his time in this movie, which is really nice, you know, and, uh... It's cool that you know that you know that, that the dialogue is so sharp. This you know a lot of uh, a lot of not an word in this movie, but you know, Ordell Roby says it's so not a bad thing. Um, what else can I say about this movie? I highly recommend the scene. You know, this is one of the, this is one of the, this is the one Tarantino movie I think people overlook it because they may not have seen it in the theater or it was during that time between Pulp Fiction and Kill Bill. Kill Bill is good, great, but I consider Jack Brown laughs his spirit in Kill Bill. Um, like I said, this is the first Tarantino movie I saw in the theater, and I've seen every other movie since. So this doesn't have a really special place in my heart. I only saw it once in the theater, and it was at this theater called Century 10, which is closed down now. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's even more special because of that. Um, Tarantino, Tarantino really hit a home run with this movie. Um, what else? Uh, yeah. I mean, Pam Gear did a great job. Um, Samuel Jackson was absolutely as one of his best roles as the villain. Samuel Jackson plays really good villains, and there's a scene, especially when this song plays, where he has, he's trying to... Um, Figure out what to do about Boma because he suspects that Boma might have ran to the ATF agents and to the police and stuff. So this, you know, he tells you know, he he, he, he tricks them into getting in the trunk of, into a trunk of a car. He goes to the front of the car, turns the car, and he sits and listens to the song for a few minutes. And it's little moments like that, man, that's make this uh, movie so great. And Samuel Jackson makes this really, really, really like sinister face when uh, you know as he as he turns around because he's thinking about what to do next. So yeah. It's, that's you know, that's what that's what I love about this movie. The small little touches that I love about it. You know, it's one of my favorite movies, top ten for sure. And my favorite character in the movie is Jackie Brown. Um, let me show you the Blu-ray, and I'll get you guys on your way. So once again, this is um, Quentin Tarantino's Jackie Brown. It stars Pam Grier, Samuel Jackson, uh, Bridget Fonda, Michael Keaton, Robert Forster, and Robert De Niro. Um, there's also other cameos by like. Um, Chris Tucker and Amy Graham and a few other people like that. And like I said, it is Tarantino's homage to um, black exploitation films. Um, if you enjoyed the soundtrack, I will post a link to where you can buy the soundtrack from Amazon. If you want to buy the Blu-ray, I will post a link to buy the Blu-ray. And once again, if you like this video, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I really would appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoy these reviews here. Um, I promise you guys, I will get out of 97 i know i've done two back-to-back -back 97 movies that 1997 movies that were actually in theaters at the same time which is kind of interesting but yeah anyways i hope you guys uh, enjoyed this review and talk to you later